So I'm here at Walmart. I'm gonna be planning on going to a bunch of Walmarts because uh, there's, uh, I wasn't really planning on getting them, but there's a lot of people just finding them now. Is there's, uh, I think they're called Ruby number seven, A cover and B cover, and one called Gen one, I believe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to hunt those down because uh, a couple of people that I see in this group that I'm in are finding them and uh, I'd like to get my own too. And I'm a little late to the party, so let's see how it goes. Kind of show it here if I can. But the color scheme is red, black, white, red. And then it basically can kind of tell you which book. That's really what I'm checking for. And then on top of that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of these. Because these have a lot of first appearances that are looking pretty good in my, in my opinion. So I'm here at another Walmart. Um, this one particularly had a lot of DC books, so I had a better chance. Uh, the first one did not have DCs, but I picked up some Marvel stuff. I did find one package is already open. This has a Genlock 6. Um, I did not open this. Someone else, I think, left it here. Just to see if I can... Gen... Genlock. So that's a Genlock 6 right here. That's what it looks like. The red, black, white, red, and then the white with some uh, art on it. And then this one, I believe, is the Ruby um, B cover. But I'm not sure. I'll have to buy it and then open it up. So I ended up with the two. And then I found another one that I think is probably a double having two uh, of the B cover. I also found this one that has more of a like a purplish or pinkish uh, coloring to it but it has a Batman 3 Jokers book 3 and I missed out on getting one of those so uh, I might go ahead and do that but I went through this whole stack I think uh, I do not think an A cover is in here which is the grail like the holy grail of uh, Walmart uh, pack books right now so I kind of called it a day this is going to be like a multi-day kind of thing when I hunt for these packs I uh, got pretty good luck on, um, I think is what is two B covers for the Ruby 9, I think it's 9, and uh, one of the Gen Locks. Um, so yeah, and then I picked up a couple extra things that I was kind of looking for, and uh, I'll open them up now. Back from my uh, first day of checking out my Walmarts that I have around me, uh, this was uh, a st one store where it was kind of a bust on the DC stuff, but I did want one of these Star Wars Life Days because there's a lot of first appearances that I really like, and uh, I wanted to pick up at least one for myself, and we'll see what's in the pack. And that same Walmart happened to have two Moon Knights, and judging from the sides, I think they might be the same pack, so it might be a dupe pack. I'm probably going to open up one, see what's inside. The second one, I might leave closed and try to just probably sell this off sealed, um, just for the fun of it. I've never done that before, so I'm going to probably try that out. And then the second Walmart I went to had uh, what I think are two packs with the B cover for Ruby number seven. It has the opened pack with the um, Gen Lock book. And there's a shark, uh, uh, King Shark pack. I already have King Shark, but it has one that I suspect it might be one, but I don't think it is really. I'm not that confident. But it does have a Three Jokers book, which I did not get. And there is one of them out there that is worth about $200. I think it's the number three um, variant cover. I don't know if this is going to be the A cover or if it's part of the variants. I came across them a long time ago, the uh, Joker books. But I actually skipped them, not thinking uh, much of them. But um, there is one book in there that would be really worth it if it happened to be it. So... Since I don't know what's in these packs, I'm going to go ahead and start with these. Okay, so uh, the Star Wars Life Day, of course. X-Men Legends number 8. That's an awesome cover. Um, probably just an A, a cover book and uh, probably not a big key, but the art of this cover is awesome. Uh, with Wolverine and Red, oh, Omega Red. Omega Red, right? And a Bounty Hunters number 16. That's pretty cool, too. Boba Fett flying. Awesome the Moon Knight pack. So basically I did not open this one. I'm going to see what's in this. I'm assuming they are the same uh, pack. So this one I, I'll take the gamble and not open and just probably sell this off somewhere. Moon Knight number three. 
And to my surprise, I'm, I'm finding more of these again because I thought these were these were going to be gone for me, but I guess these are my last two. Uh, X Corp number, does it say the number or is it four? I don't know what this is. Maybe it's a one shot. And X Force 23. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start off with the King Shark book, uh, pack because um, these ones I kind of know what I have in there, at least I hope. Uh, King Shark number one. Punchline number one. I think this is a variant cover, right? Because I do not recognize this cover unless the covers that I always saw were variants and this is the A cover. This might be the A cover. Uh, this looks like the A cover for Three Jokers number three. Um, okay, well, it was worth the gamble because uh, the one with the film strip uh, pictures is listed on um, Key Collector as $200 high, last I saw. And of course, Dark Knights of Steel. You're almost always guaranteed this or Task Force Z with DC books. Thank you, DC. Okay, first pack with what I think and hope is the Ruby 7 B cover. So I am Batman. I think I already have either two or four of these already. So this would be um, uh, five and six or three and four. I'm pretty sure I have now six. Um, okay, so the next one I suspect is that, and it is awesome. So in case I don't get any more of these things, I'll post the, the info right here. But these are blowing up a little bit. I suspect maybe with how many people are going out getting them and listing them online, the um, value might drop a little bit because it's getting a little flooded. Same thing kind of happened with the Catwoman books and um, pretty much anything that gets like a big wind of uh, being... A little bit more valuable than the, the book especially like these moon knights um that's another example of it just gets flooded in the market and then the values of everything kind of drop a little bit you really gotta get it at the right time and then put it up uh for sale but then for me i was a little late on this i um i didn't really think to really look for this stuff because i wasn't really interested and these are probably books that i would just get out uh and sell because i'm not really interested in this series um but for the people that are I guess the story goes that this is the final issue and it got canceled to go to comic book shops and what happened was they threw them all into Walmart uh, variety packs or uh, variant packs whatever you want to call them and the reason why everyone is trying to get these is to finish up the series and it's essentially a book that was supposed to not be out there anymore and instead people are finding them in these packs so this uh, hopefully I can get out there and uh, yeah, pay back uh, some of these packs. Suicide Squad, Ultra Featuring, Black Adam. That's pretty cool. Uh, what is this? A number two of something. I'm not sure. I don't really keep up with DC as much as Marvel. But uh, issue two of that book. And of course, Dark Knights of Steel. And I want to assume that this is the same pack. I'm pretty sure this is the same but I can't sell this saying, hey, one of those rare books is in here. Just trust me. So I'll have to open this one up as well. At least with this Moon Knight, I can sell this really showing that this book is in here because it's the front book. So um, I'll go ahead and open this up probably off camera and just uh, if it happens to be something with something a little different, I'll turn the camera back on. But if not, uh, I think everyone gets the gist of it basically these books and uh really the a cover is the holy grail of pretty much all um walmart packs in case i never find one which i might not because uh, you never know um that's the highest value book i've ever seen in a walmart variant pack and uh these being the b cover kind of associated with it uh, i'm just calling this thing like all a uh, little holy grail run i guess you could say so getting these are definitely good to grab if you're into like what is supposed to be kind of rare books that in a way aren't even supposed to exist in a, in a sense um so yeah hopefully uh anyone watching can grab some of those and hey maybe even you can uh, pick one up for me have another interruption to the video because uh what has been happening now with these dc packs and ruby 7 these uh supposed to be disposed of pulped books um the first batch that came out basically had uh, a lot of these coming out people were discovering these a lot and then what happened was this used to be a high of 95 the um, price has since dropped because a lot of them started flooding the market supply and demand of course and uh, now it went back up to 80 so I'm thinking that the people that missed out on this first wave are now 
uh, coming into the market, trying to get them again. So they're raising it a little bit. But unfortunately, with this um, wave of the B cover, there was a couple A covers, but now there's new packs out for DC. And then all of a sudden, people are starting to find this A cover quite a lot now. This uh, high of 1,500. That was probably the very first couple issues that people found in Walmart packs. And then what happened was I personally have seen it drop to like 500 to 200, 100. I think it's now hovering around like 50 to $70. And with more of these coming out, I think it's going to keep going down. Uh, the reason why I bring this up is because I was at a Walmart. I decided, hey, I'll just go look at what's in there. And I think I have one of those in here. Uh, I checked around at some other Walmarts because of the new packs coming out. I only found one out of four Walmarts um, that were in my area. I could look for more, but this isn't really a book I'm really, really trying to get. I don't know if I should try to sell this one, if this is what this is, or if I should hang on to it. Because the idea is that it's not supposed to exist. Um, and then while I was also going around, I found what I think is something that has kind of consistently been um showing up it hasn't had like a big wave of uh people finding them this genlock number six is another book that was supposed to be disposed of and the price is always from what i saw looked like around 60 to 90 dollars here and there it kind of jumps around they're not as common as the rubies when the first wave came and then the second wave now that's come now these ones are starting to pop up a little bit here and there but it, there's no really big wave of, of them and I happened to go to a Walmart that had a lot of comics, and uh, I think I got two of them here. So I'm going to open these up. I was never able to find the Ruby 7A cover for the first wave, so uh, this would be pretty cool to have. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it because the price is dropping fast. Okay, here we go. So Son of Kalel number 6, front book. This is a Son of Kalel 5. I think this is a variant cover. Uh, yes, a variant cover. And uh, Batman the Night number one, I've actually seen this in other uh, uh, front uh, books, so it's cool to grab a number one out of this. I know it's very common though, and it just kind of is a new book. And there it goes, the Ruby number seven A cover. Um, so that's cool to have. Condition, it has a couple little spine bends here and there, nothing color breaking from what I can tell. Other than that, it looks pretty good. Um, I don't know. It's tempting to keep this because the idea that this isn't supposed to exist, I think is pretty cool. I just don't know what else I would do with it. I don't know if it would all of a sudden jump up again in like two to three years if if they do release this book in a different cover. Because I don't know exactly why it was canceled, but it's supposed to be, I think, the last of the run. And then they canceled it, so I wonder if they're going to put out another number seven. But... We'll see. And then, uh, so these two, I suspect, are going to be duplicate packs. When I found a Genlock 6 before, I only found one. The pack was actually torn open, and the books were a little bit not perfect. There were some bends. There was, I think, uh, a little tear in the corner, especially on the Genlock 6 book. But it's still sold. I actually put that up for sale because I figured I have no use in keeping that. But now that I got two of them, I might try to keep one. Um, so I suspect these packs are going to be the same. And the front book, same as the one I found before, was this. So uh, I think this is Legion of Superheroes uh, variant cover. And then Black uh, Green Lantern Black Stars, number two. I've never seen this before. And there is the Genlock 6, so I was right. It is a Genlock 6, thank God, because uh, I'm glad I was right on this one. And then Condition, there is a couple spine ticks right there. Well some bends really there's some kind of like some kind of rub on there um so not the best of condition but it is better than the one i had that i actually sold the batman's grave i've never seen this before but this is a cool looking cover and it's a number one so that's cool i like getting number ones and some pretty cool inside art and what i think is probably going to be the same pack legion of superheroes Black Stars, Genlock 6, but is this one better? This one also has a slight rub on it. It's not as bad as the other one, so this one's in better condition. There is this bend on the spine here, 
and other than that everything else looks pretty good so this is actually the best condition i've found out of three uh so if i were to keep one i'll probably end up keeping this one um so we'll see and then batman's grave so that's uh, another little interruption to the video more and more news just keeps coming uh, for these Walmart packs. So I don't know who knows what's going to happen on the next batch of the Marvels and then the next batch of the DCs. Who knows if more of these Genlocks all of a sudden start appearing. So I better make sure I uh, sell one of these before something like that happens. And about the Ruby 7, a cover, what was once a $1,500 book, um, thanks to speculators, I believe is now probably uh i would say maybe around 50 bucks uh in like perfect world maybe 75 uh right now because they're starting to get posted up and uh like any market supply and demand is kind of dictating the price to drop on this one but still a good find for a 10 dollar pack 